The city of Bangor has the distinction of being one of the first cities in the United States to adopt military training in its public school system. Early in the Civil War on December 2, 1861, City Mayor Isaiah Stetson and the Bangor City Council directed the school committee to institute military drill in the public school system. From 1861 until 1898, the unit was known as the Volunteer Drill Company and eventually wore gray uniforms of the militia type. In 1898, at the outbreak of the war with Spain, interest in the military training unit increased greatly. A larger unit was formed known as the Bangor High School Cadet Corps. During the First World War, the Bangor unit furnished many officers and non-commissioned officers for the American Expeditionary Force. Congress authorized the formation of the present Reserve Officers Training Corps in high schools through the National Defense Act of 1916. In 1919, Bangor High School was designated as one of the first junior ROTC units. In 1957, the school committee reduced the requirement for graduation to include one year of ROTC. On March 6, 1972, the Bangor School Committee voted to change the status of ROTC at Bangor High School from mandatory to elective. This change became effective on March 7, 1972. The junior ROTC program has continued at Bangor High School from 1972 until the present as an elective. Here we see some uniforms from around the period of the Civil War. In 1908, once again reflecting the style of uniforms being worn by the active duty military. Notice the officers there with their sabers. Here's the ROTC unit on parade. This is located off Harlow Street and in the background you see what used to be the Bangor High School. Notice also that they had women in the cadet corps at that time. Nineteen sixteen, shortly before the United States entered the First World War, and here in the mid nineteen thirties, uniforms that would be continue on through the Second World War. late 1930s again. The mission of Bangor Junior ROTC is to sustain the success and maintain the standards of the RAM Battalion by demonstrating the highest degree of moral values and leadership. In doing so, we will encourage cadets to become better citizens and to challenge them as well as ourselves. I am a Army Junior ROTC cadet. I will always conduct myself to bring credit to my family, country, school, and corps of cadets. I am loyal and patriotic. I am the future of the United States of America. I do not lie, cheat, or steal, and I will always be accountable for my actions and deeds. I will always practice good citizenship and patriotism. I will work hard to improve my mind and strengthen my body. I will seek the mantle of leadership and stand prepared to uphold the Constitution and the American way of life. May God grant me the strength to always live by this creed. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise as the Bangor High School Band, under the direction of Mr. Burnett, honors America with the playing of the National Anthem. Presenting the colors is Bangor High, J-R-O-T-C, under the direction of Jeremy Kuhn.
One of the features of the parade this morning is a presentation of the colors, and this year will be done by the Bangor Junior ROTC, and I'm here with Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Jeremy Kuhn. And, and Jeremy, what does the ROTC do for, for the community here in Bangor? Well, our uh, ROTC at Bangor is very active in the community. Uh, here today we're going to do a color guard. We do over 50 color guards every year. We do them at different sporting events at the high school, football games, basketball games, baseball games, things of that nature. We also do a lot of things in the community with just cadets getting out and getting involved. Uh, we do a man of food drive at the school, collecting canned goods for the soup kitchens around the area, and a blood drive every year, participate in the MASH blood drive. And we do different memorial services as well. We march in parades, and we really like to get out in the community and make a good impression for the Corps cadets and for the cadets themselves. And what does the ROTC program mean for you personally, Jeremy? What, what does it do for you and, and how has it helped you? Well, for me, it's been a really great experience. I've been in ROTC for three years. Um, it's really been great. It teaches you things that are applicable in all aspects of life. You learn not just how to lead, but how to communicate with people, how to deal with people. And it's really a great class because it's not like other classes where you sit and read about it. You actually get involved. We have a whole battalion of cadets at our school, and you can be responsible between you know, seven individuals in the squad or a whole battalion of 120, 140 cadets. So it really helps you gain a lot of appreciation for being responsible and being held accountable for those things. It's excellent. It's a very impressive unit, and we'll see them here in just a few minutes in the parade. Jeremy, thank you very much for being here today. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, before we sing the national anthem this evening, could we please have a moment of silence for all the men and women serving our armed forces around the world, especially those in Iraq and Afghanistan. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last 